Morning guys, Alex here, back with another video in The Division. Today I'm taking a look at what's for sale on the week of the 18th of June 2016. So we're going to take a quick look at what's for sale in the Dark Zone and what's for sale in the Base of Operations. So we're going to start off with the Dark Zone and in the DZO2 vendor. First of all guys, while I'm on there, I just want to quickly apologise for not making a video last week and for this one being late. I've actually been away due to a family bereavement so um, I haven't been making any videos or doing a great deal of anything. Uh, I'm now back so hopefully we'll be putting out some more videos. If there's anything you want to see, uh, I know E3 was this week, please do let me know in the comments down below and I'll do my best to post some updates or some opinions or take a look at anything that you want to have a look at. Looking at the DZO2 vendor we have the stamina mask. It's actually not bad at 625 stamina, quite high. Um, and also it has rehabilitated which is the one that was broken and everyone made a big fuss about. So it may, might be worth grabbing that one. What else have we got? We also have a stamina backpack. I'm definitely going to be picking this one up myself as I need a stamina backpack and it has critical hit damage on it. So it definitely will fit in nicely with my build. And in the 204 blueprints we have electronics holster, firearms backpack, firearms knee pads and stamina knee pads. So if you haven't picked those up yet, they're definitely worth grabbing. Um, I'm slowly working my way through buying all of these when I have money left at the end of the week. They're definitely worth picking up to see how I can make. Okay, so the most exciting one is always the DZ03 weapons vendor. So this week he has in the 204 weapons classic RPK 74 and an Org Power XS. Both of these are pre crafted. In the blueprints, you have the Valkyria blueprint as always. We've got the first wave M1A, which is now back, and we also have the tactical Org blueprint. So ignore what I said about that Org, don't bother, save up, buy the blueprint. Definitely worth grabbing blueprints over pre-crafted weapons. And to be honest, the first wave M1A blueprint is also worth grabbing. So really good week this week. Definitely worth picking up both of those, so I think I'm going to have to get saving. In DZO4 we have the Electronics Gear Mod Blueprint and Stamina Gear Mod Blueprint. As I say, every single week it's worth picking these up if you don't have them already. They really will help you level out your character. Okay, DZO4, never the most exciting but always useful just to know. We have an Osprey 45 Suppressor and we also have an Extended Magazine Blueprint. Both of these worth grabbing if you've got the cash spare or have bought everything else that's worth buying. However, this week there is some other good items that are definitely worth picking up over these. Okay guys, and finally in the base operations we have the Historian available as always. Not worth really grabbing, it's not a great weapon, only grab it if you've really got nothing else to buy. There's a Tactical Vector 45 ACP, very popular weapon the Vector, but I would pass this week simply because the Org is available both pre-crafted and with the blueprint in the Dark Zone. There's a tactical M1911. This is actually quite a good little pistol. Um, so if you need a 204 pistol, might be worth picking this one up. You've also got a 204 Spec Ops mask. This is a stamina's mask. Um, not as high roll on stamina as what was available in the Dark Zone, but could be worth grabbing if you just need a quick 204 mask and have a load of Phoenix credits to spend. And there's also a stamina pack as well, so it could be worth grabbing this if you prefer this one over the specs of the one in the dark zone. Um, so that's about it for the base operation. And as always, he has the 214 blueprints, which aren't really worth grabbing unless you just want to try these things out, uh, because they're only level 31, whereas everything else we've looked at is level 32. Okay guys, so that's it. That's everything that's for sale in the Dark Zone and the base operations for the week of the 18th of June 2016. Again, my apologies for this video being late. Um, I do post these videos every week when possible. Unfortunately, last week was unavoidable. Uh, please do subscribe guys and let me know anything in the comments you want to see me do in The Division. Um, I post this video every single week so I'm looking for other ideas for weekly videos that I can do in The Division or maybe in some other games if you want to see me try something else out or do regular updates on them. So guys, this has been Alex on Lazybug Gaming. Thank you for watching.